In this video, we're going to build up the harmonic drives. To start, grab your flex spline attach. The six posts on the top are very fragile, so you must put bolts inside of them before moving on with pedaling, or else they will break off. Take your six M2 by 12 millimeter bolts and tighten them from the bottom until they are flush with the top of the posts. Once you have done this, you can now clear any excess support material around the posts. Now, clear the support material from your flex spline cap and press six M2 nuts into the holes. Next, place your flex spline onto the flex spline attach, lining up the posts with the holes in the flex spline. Then, take your flex spline cap and place it with the nuts facing up while aligning it with the holes. Now tighten the bolts into the flex spline cap. Be sure to distribute pressure evenly by tightening bolts opposite to each other rather than moving from one to the next. A screwdriver should be used for the final adjustments and to make sure each bolt is evenly tightened. The bolt will go below the first few layers of the hole when it's fully tightened. Now that the flex spline is secured, we can begin to attach it to the motor. Start by making sure the center hole is adequately reamed. Once you have done this, slide the flex spline attach over the shaft of the motor. Take your four M3 by 12 mm socket head screws and tighten them in the same pattern you did with the flex spline cap. Next, take your wave generator coupler and make sure there's no zero layer in the way of where the nuts go. If there is, just cut it out with a knife. When the spaces are clear, press the nuts into their spaces with the pointed side on top. You may not be able to get them down all the way by just pressing. To fix this, just stick a sharp pointed object into the hole for the bolt and push it down from there. Before you put epoxy over the nuts, you want to occupy the threads with placeholder bolts. This ensures that no epoxy gets inside the nuts. Just take any two M3 bolts that you can afford to throw away and tighten them in until you can see the ends of them in the center for the shaft. Once you've done this, put epoxy over the top of the nuts. Make sure that none drips into the center. It's okay to have some excess at the top as it can be sanded down once the epoxy has dried. Once the epoxy has had time to dry, take your wave generator coupler and replace the old bolts with hex head bolts. If you need to ream the center hole, be sure to start from the side without nuts as you could potentially mess up the glue or the nuts if you start from that side. Once this is done, place your wave generator coupler over the shaft of the motor. Make sure one of the bolts is lined up on the flat side of the shaft. Then place your wave generator spacer onto the coupler and push it down. Take it out once you're done and start tightening down the bolts with a 5.5mm wrench. Once the bolts are tightened, take the wave generator with the widest side on the bottom and press it down until it's flush. This requires a bit of force, so we typically use a mechanical press for this. Then, when you have it pressed in, spin the wave generator and make sure it feels nice and tight. This completes the assembly of the harmonic drive. Three.